I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Oh, but you know what though? When we get to that, just shall live by faith. Yes, sir. But what was the first? What was what was the A part of that verse? Can we just take a look at the A part of that verse? Yes, sir. In a back. Yeah. One second. One second. What is what is that he said right before that, Myra? It's <laughs> <laughs> so. Go ahead. Behold. He says, "The soul which is lifted up is not upright in him." In him. But the, the just, soul. Hey, come on now. He said the soul that yes. is lifted up yes. is not upright in him. Right. Yes. Bruh, I don't care how good you are, how smart you are, how yeah. good and talented yeah. you are. When you start thinking that it's something because of your efforts, mm. you done got off the grace of God. When yes. you start thinking it's because of your, your good looks or your whatever about you, Amen. when you don't humble yourself before the mighty hand of God, on, let me bro. tell you something. It's something about humility that causes yeah. you to respect young kids nowadays when they come up and they humble and they show respect. Oh, you have that's so much automatic. more respect for those yeah. kids and will do more for them just out of the gate because of the fact. You know, just like this right here. I'm going to tell you something. I like Kawhi Leonard, and I'm going to tell you why I like it. Oh, I already know why. <laughs> because he don't show no emotions. Yes. He make a good play. He dunk on you, whatever. You know what he do? He just turn around and run down the court. Run down he ain't the court. trying to be... He ain't trying to draw no uh, extra attention to himself. He's not trying to stand out amongst the crowd. He don't want to be an individual on a team. He just wants you to see the team. Ah, man, I'm going to tell you something. I love that about him. And to me, that's a principle of God that lines up with his, his lifestyle. And when I see attributes in other people that I admire, it Ooh, breaking up, Jimmy. Oh, oh, he's excited. It is me to emulate them and love. I want other people to see the same thing. Yeah. Jimmy, you didn't got so excited, man. You didn't blew off the airways, bro. Yeah, the the, the spirit. I'm sorry. Yeah, y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. Look, look, the spirit oh, in that man. dude, man. He caused all kind of static in his system. Boy, <laughs> couldn't contain it. He, he said, he said, uh, Jimmy, what? Say it again, Jimmy. Say it hey, again. It was in the spirit. It was in the spirit, fellas. It, hey, hey, no words could. Hey, could I got it. I, I got all that. Everything he said. He got I got it. He got <laughs> yes. So, so it, it, it's, it's just that way, you know. When when you're just at peace, you know, in the midst of of trials and tribulations. Right. Because you're walking by faith. Right. And what and what I want to be able to say is that what I'm saying, if you now you recognize we want to, I want to put this in there, is that your the substance of faith is in your spirit. And and, and, and you have access to your spirit. The Holy Spirit is depositing the word, the substance that you need day by day. And therefore, I want you to understand that your spirit is where your substance. That's why the devil comes, right? Yeah. That's why he comes to take the word out of your mercy. heart, right? Yeah. Because even in your heart, your heart is exchangeable with spirit. Correct? All I know is if, if you speak God's word and believe in your heart, yeah. that it shall come to pass. Right. It, it just that it, it, it and that it has to come to pass. What, what was it? My point is though, it, it's as we talk about live by faith, right? Live daily yeah. is to yeah. understand that you have a reservoir of substance that is being built up in you daily, right? And 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 and, and I want you to be able to realize by living by faith is to be able to pull from that substance that's in you. So you, well, you know, I tell you something, Pastor. There's something that's just inex is inexplicable. There's a, and I hate to say it this way, but there's a magic. There's a, to, to believing, man. Believing is, is absolutely astonishing. Uh -huh. It'll override your senses. I mean, how can a person that's anorexic look in a mirror 
and see fat. When we look at them and see nothing but skin wrapped on bone. Let yeah. me tell you something. There's a magic to believing. When yeah. there, and it's been in, in every society, in every religion, in every cult, in every, you name it, a, a, most of it is going to be based on believing something. Mm -hmm. And the ones that believe it the most and really, really believe it, they live in a totally different reality. Yeah, They really do. There, there, there's something mystical about believing, brothers. Faith is absolutely astonishing. So the things that we that, that appear were not made from things that that the things that are made were not made from things that do appear. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's not yeah. what we see with our eyes. Yeah. They see something totally different. And you're saying to yourself, "How in the world can you see that? It doesn't even exist tangibly for real." But yeah. that's what they see. How do they see it? Because there's something absolutely astonishing. It's spiritual yeah. about believing that we have a really just giving the credibility to it that we need to give to it. That's a good word, Jimmy. But uh, so, so, so we're justifying what Trump is doing. He really believes what he's saying. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just, I'm just throwing that in there. No, well, it's even more than that. It's the it's 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 those that that follow him. You know, they believe it. They really do believe and, it, right? Uh, they they don't hear the negative things that he say or they make excuses for it well, now watch this now watch this perfect. now watch this now watch this is equal okay. is equal hear me now it's equal to the ones that believe what biden and kamala is saying yeah and and what they're what they're purporting yeah, it's equal exactly. to their same belief there's yeah. no yeah. difference it's yeah. just a different it's just you standing on the other side of the fence yeah. but it's same equal yeah. But but and there was another instance that that occurred in the kind of I, when I saw the parallel between it, it kind of freaked me out a little bit. You remember the young man who was the, the Olympic star who had his gender changed? Was it Chris Jenner? Was it Chris Jenner? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, when he went Bruce Jenner, man. Bruce, he, 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 Bruce, Bruce Jenner. Jenner. Bruce Jenner. Yeah, Bruce Jenner. Yeah. He made himself a woman. Uh, no, now, but everybody <laughs> applauded this guy. He made himself a dyke. Well, yeah, <laughs> he, 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 he's still like woman. He he <laughs> might look like one, but he still like him. Yeah, that's hard, isn't it? But but his truth was different from our, my truth. But a lot of people applauded him on what he perceived his truth to be. And also now with the gender assignments and all stuff that we're going through now, people are perceiving themselves to be something other than what they were born. And we are literally going along with that. In, in sanctioning the behavior. Now, I'm not saying the kingdom is doing it, but I'm saying the world system is. We've made laws to accommodate a view that is skewed from well, what, you know, what I'm going to throw something at y'all. In, the, in, the, in, the, in this world, there's a there's the world way, world system, and everything else. And in this world way, you, you can be whoever you want to be. That's not you sanctioning them. That's the how they are. That's their rights, and that's what you give them to. I mean, it's their right. They can believe anything. They can believe in the devil. They can worship the devil, right, in this world. But we as believers, that's the whole point is that what we stand on, right? We stand on the word of God, right? Exactly. And, 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 and what's coming out of your mouth is what you're going to be judged by, life and death and the power of the tongue. And as far as yeah. people, yes, there, there's, there's people equally... As far as the world system is concerned, there is a lot of this equality of unjust thinking, unright thinking, definitely ungodly thinking, right? Because this is not a godly system we're talking about. But, but the I want to come Let's back. Let something. Let's shift. Huh? I, I agree with you 100%, Pastor. Now, uh, Life Magazine named him Person of the Year. Did you all hear me? Life Magazine named him Person of the Year because of that and right. and let's understand something we're we're being made to accept that and not speak against it and not even say words that that are offensive to them the world makes us that way otherwise we're going to be per persecuted and maybe even prosecuted for that so i mean don't get me wrong we can't let we can say yeah we got to say speak the word we know the truth but let me tell you something we're being mandated, manipulated, controlled, and it, and, and also censored till we really get to the point. We cannot say what we want to say, but scriptural things. 
if it's different from what the world has said is now acceptable as human beings and we have to accept it as well otherwise we're going to we're going to face and it's no surprise because the bible spoke of it we're but, going to face persecution to prosecute well jimmy that's what i'm saying is that when we speak we speak about within the kingdom yeah that's that's what you're talking we talk about the kingdom so when uh, i can speak i can speak against something but it's not it's not it's not we're not speaking for something which is what the kingdom is about there, right there is there, there's a so, so we look we look at the setup that's happening right now the, the way that the country is moving the 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 laws and the, everything that is now being established is against the kingdom so persecution is uh as jimmy was saying is on the horizon for the church if the church does not push back What's now it? to say that, that that it's all right the question becomes do we want it to roll to a place where preaching the gospel is going to be done under the rest or do we want to address the issues that are going to put us in position where we are going to be persecuted uh legally because laws are going to be in place that say there's something you know you're the criminal not us so and and, and i think that i remember when there's some prayer that paul prayed that that he might preach with without hindering the gospel you know in, in that environment he had a couple of years of peace where he was able to preach without persecution or prosecution and but we, what we're seeing is, I don't know. I really can't answer this question. I really can't. We are seeing a society turn away from um, tolerance toward uh, Christianity or Christians to intolerance toward Christians. Absolutely, and, absolutely. And that is uh, happening. That is that is happening right now. I hey hey. I'm gonna have to go here in a, in a little while. But let me say this, guys. Um. This is my point, first of all. I, I don't think we need to concern ourselves with trying to fix something that cannot be fixed. It has to be in the right. That's what the, the, the sin came into the world. Yes. Creation, all of creation as a result of that is corrupted. It's like a, a glass crystal that's been, been broken. Once it hits that floor and shatters, that's it. We can, we can go and get some super glue, flex seal, whatever kind of thing you can and try to put that back together. Now we may be able to put the pieces together, but it ain't never gonna look like its original form, okay? So in this situation, um, I'm back to what is, is being said all the time. Just seek the kingdom. We can't fix all that mess. Right. All we got to do, all we need to be doing is working on ourselves and, and, and those who are in our family and the people who are immediate to us and those who we who God makes as divine appointments who we can talk to. You know, that's it. Now, when it comes to um, Bruce Jenner and, and all these other people, I, this is what I get out of that. That's all a part of that domino effect of what sin has done. Right. You know, I... I it, it, it's gonna be in them, yeah. you know, just like what what's it's what's in us. See, I can't take the fact that somebody wants to change their gender and say, "Oh man, you know, you messed up. You condemned. You going to hell." And wait a minute, man, and I got I'm like the the, the sinner and the publican, man. You know, but, but, you know, I get to praying and thinking I'm all good and stuff because that person over there is 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 a is a, is a dyke. No, I can't do that. Okay, w what we got to recognize is that God is gonna work in him. Yep. And all these other people, people who are who are gay, who are straight, who are liars, who are whatever, it don't make no never mind. The sin has prevailed, it has done its thing, and we can't fix this. All we can do is continue to speak the kingdom. We right. speak the kingdom to 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 Bruce Jenner. What is his name now? Uh I can't even remember now. But uh but you know, I, the other day I'm, listen, I'm w w listening to the radio. There's a show on TV called P Valley. Now I haven't seen it, but based on what I'm listening to, I'm like, wow, man, these folks have have. This is a great show. You got to see the show. I like the actors and actresses on the show, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm like, wow, man. You know, it kind of reminds me of some of these other shows that are out there that are, you know, likewise being lifted up as as great works of art. Um, that stuff is. It's all broken to do is pray for those folks and like what Habakkuk was talking about God you know we can ask the question right but then we need to get the revelation from God the Father 
as to okay now I, he, you know because that's what he's telling me child i, I understand your concerns yeah. but this is what you need to do just keep the faith keep yeah. the faith just wait just keep the faith now it doesn't mean that i'm going to assimilate into right. what society is doing exactly because while i'm in the world what i'm supposed to do is what i'm supposed to do as a child of god yes sir that makes sense it does you're, you're so, absolutely right let me say something real quick let me say something and i agree with everything you're saying we're on the same page i'll tell you something too though but i mean the first understanding is we know that this world simply is anti-christ so there's nothing that's going to surprise us because it's anti-christ and we're right. christ so it's automatically going to be against us but but we can't escape the fact that there is a governance eh, guardrails that they're also trying to place on our lives yeah. as to just how far truthful and how authentic we can be scriptural because it's anti-Christ and they're trying to govern anything that is Christ, which means they're trying to govern us. And then that brings in political correctness, that brings in all these other things also that go make a lot of people compromise the truth just so be ostracized or persecuted by others. We have to understand that that's a real concept and we just have that's reality in this world. Well, yeah. Yeah. But, 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 but the Bible tells us that that's going to happen and that's the see that's where remember Jimmy you was talking about the the, the playbook and see that's the the we, we got that 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 2020 hindsight already God has given us the playbook said that these things are going to happen so we we shouldn't be surprised so that's why we just keep marching irregardless as to what it looks like we just keep marching let God order our steps according to his word and we do what we got to do persecution is going to be part of it that's the now, don't, don't now either, I, either I just just deal with it or, 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 or not you know I think that's the one thing that we have to to really deal with it, it's a warfare ideologies, and and, and, and that is consistent. Uh, but we have been in a country where, and this is going to come as a, as, a, as an issue. We want Trump out of office. I mean, a, but when the Democrats come in office, look at the things that they've done that have been, I think, Philly would say, diametrically opposed to the, the principles of the kingdom. This is coming. Well, well, it's, it's Our job is not to exist, po to peacefully cohabitate or coexist with them. Well, well, the our, 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 our job is to actually push back against them, knowing that eventually we're going to lose the battle. But well, 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 let me put something out there. Man. Hey, I got I got the bomb for the day. If y'all didn't talk about this, this y'all know right, What's that the, bomb? the pope, the pope, drop the bomb. Y'all ready? I, I, the Pope has condoned same-sex unions. They clipped that one out last week. The Pope, Pope Francis, said it's okay. Well, he, he did it for his, his doctor for the nomination. But yes. it's funny. It's funny how we uh, did these social things, this, this political correctness stuff. But I'm I'm looking at the political correctness. If you go back in history, all up to this time. Was politically correct to shoot a black person? Was politically right to, to, to lynch a black person? To, to it is right now. It's right. That's happening right now. And I'm saying is that if we're sitting there looking at these little social changes, when I'm talking about from the past, I've been seeing from the day of slavery all the way up to this time, where the same people are sitting there having a problem with these little, you know, hey, brother. Everybody is it back again is. Those type of things still won't get you lynched. Those things still will not persecute you and kill you. Right now, not, right now they won't. It was not, right it was now not, they won't. And it was not politically correct for a black man or a race of people to say, say it out, I'm black and I'm proud. It was not, it was, it, I'm trying to say that Black Lives Matter is not politically correct in certain circles, right? You go in there and you talk about the your, your rights and stuff is still not being accepted by some people. So I'm saying that when I look at the world system, I, that's why it's better to preach the kingdom of God. Because in fact, in the kingdom of God, Period. you don't have this about the Bruce Jenner. You don't have about this lynching. You don't have about this division. You don't have about this hate. All right. Let me see. Like a, I'm going to throw something out here, guys. Go ahead, go ahead, tell us. You make a law that accommodates something that's come that literally 
prevents me from doing what I inherently do. But you had a long history of taking it up for You have a long word that every word that Jimmy just said can be considered hate speech. And, if, and that is about to happen. And, and 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 I say for me that's the alert that 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 I'm kind of throwing out there is that we are not entering into a place of peace. We are entering into a place of warfare. And the question becomes: Are we going to push back? Or are we going to accept the onslaught or the or the, or the process? That's all I'm saying. That's yeah. all I'm saying, brothers. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying right, wrong, or otherwise. I'm just saying the same thing that the brother right there just said: that this is the world we live in right now. But you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I see like I, we can navigate through this world. You addressed it, those things, all those things, in the package that they belong in, meaning sin is sin. You talk about sin is sin. You don't have to sit there and package that one separate from, is adultery a sin? Well, yes, they already did. They practiced it. But you got to, that's you're right, but you just can't say sin. You got to address every issue. And we're saying when you start itemizing and addressing certain issues, you're going to get jacked up. Because you spoke you know, about why, that why, particular why, sin. Why, why, why are we itemizing <laughs> sin, different types of sin? Like there's well, because you just can't say sin. Uh, I think, <clears throat> no, because if you just say sin, they're not going to know what you're talking about. You got to say what you got to address what's out. So the fact that we not, now listen at this. Right, the ahead. fact that we're even relegating to the point, hold up, the point that we're even relegating to the point that said we're just going to call it sin tells you right there we're censored. We're censored. No, no, no. You, you're, you're right about being censored. And I'm not, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying that all sin is sin. Period. And, and but what is sin? You, what is sin? <laughs> what is sin? You got the works of the flesh, and he got a whole list of them for you. What is sin? Works of the flesh. What is sin? Missing the mark from What God. is sin? Missing the mark. But He's based, on, based on who? Based on who? Based on God. Based on the word of God. They don't they don't care about the word of God. They don't read. That, they don't care that, about the word of God. That, Just why, why, how can you call that sin? Well, why, you are a minority. A but, small group. Why are we worried about what they think. <laughs> That's my question. We're not worried. We're not worried about. We're not worried about nothing. <clears throat> we're not worried about nothing. We're just talking about factual society as it exists right now and what we're faced up, what we're faced against, and what we're gonna have to deal with. We're well, not I'm worried about it. The ones that are worried about it, let me tell you something, the one that worried about it already said this is this these things are gonna happen. These things are gonna happen. Absolutely. So for us Absolutely. to sit here and debate about it it, 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 it really means nothing. What we need to do is to gird ourselves up because persecution is going to come and it's going to be uh, a choice. Exactly. Are you going to choose God or are you going to choose man? And so you're going to have to be girded up. And hopefully, I is mean, it? I'm just saying, I'm going to be honest with you. And I hope that I'm not put in that position to where I'm sweating blood like Jesus Christ is to speak God's word or to fulfill uh, the will of God in my life. To where I to, in, you know, God, take, take this cup away from me. But nevertheless, you know, your yeah. will be done. And then I say it and then expect the persecution. But to to know that God is with me Come on, brother. through that. Right. The question, the question that I was asking is in, in the beginning was: Is are we to actually push back politically, socially against those things that are constraining or constricting the freedoms of the church within the United States of America? Well, what my point is, I don't think it's a pushback on preaching the gospel. I don't think it's a pushback to sit there and say, if you want to say the Bible said it is written about the like in Romans concerning Romans dealing with homosexuality, but it also addressed other things in that. <laughs> but if you sit there and start singling them out as an individual, as a group of people. Pastor, you start Pastor, you may, you, you may say you, go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead, look, look, here's the scripture. <laughs> I mean, it's they, they it's to going, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That is going to be a pushback if you try to stand on the word, period. 
and it's not because of what we do, that's going to be the law. And they don't want to hear nothing about no Bible. And the fact that you go to the Bible and say that, it's going to be, you're going to have to push back or they're going to run over us. Plain and simple. And like the man said, this is no, this is no surprise to us because the Bible said it was going to happen. So yeah. the fact that we're just, we're just talking about the fact that we're already here and it mirrors what the Bible said we were going to yeah. be. That's shouldn't even be a discussion. We're just admitting to and saying, yeah, this is exactly where we are. Yeah. But we need to try to stay true to the scriptures Amen. and not worry about that and, and pray God's protection over yeah. us. Yeah. Because what he said was going to come to pass is coming to pass right before our eyes. Exactly. And I'm saying is that you still <laughs> preach the gospel. And you, as long as you're not singling out or taking people's rights away from them. Uh, well, that is an opportunity for those individuals and for us to to commune and to to fellowship with someone who you know they may be they may be uh, uh not in line with what the word is saying but i would wonder you know how how J jesus would you know and help me here guys how jesus would 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 take that it's just like when the woman at the well came to him you know how he spoke with with with, with her and he said you know go and sin no more you know, that's now it doesn't mean that you can't make the cake. Come on now. But what it does say is, is you know, what, how is it that we're how is it that we're coming to the, to these individuals? I, I think that what Satan does is he convolutes this argument that we're having yeah. so much so that I don't think we always we necessarily wonder, you know, uh, understand how it is that we're 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 coming across to the world. And the thing is, is we, I agree. We're going to be persecuted. That's just how it is. But I, I think we, 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 we're kind of, uh, you know, this pushback. Yeah. You know, Jesus, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he, didn't, he pushed back, but he didn't push back, I think, the way that, I think we're using the word. What he did, <laughs> he spoke about the kingdom. The kingdom is at hand. This is how it, it is meant to be. This is how the, the, the you know the the, the the kingdom of heaven is. Yeah. And that's so, so, it, so when Jesus dressed and then what the happens world. is, oh, okay. What that's happens is good. we're gonna be persecuted because of that, not because we went at war uh, against somebody. You know, because a lot of this stuff is we're coming at them in a fleshly way. Well, that, that, that's that's this.